a lot about drugs, but what are drugs? Do you know what drugs look like or how they can help you or hurt you? A drug is a substance that can change the way your body and brain work. Drugs can also change the way you behave and the way you feel. There are many different kinds of drugs. There are legal drugs that are used as medicines and prescribed by doctors. There are also illegal drugs. They're against the law and no one is supposed to buy, use, or sell them. There are other drugs that are legal for adults, but not legal for kids. What's the difference? Let's talk about legal and illegal drugs. You feel miserable and are so sick that you have to stay home from school. Your doctor tells your parents to give you medicine, so they do. You take your medicine for a couple of days and you begin to feel better. Soon, you're ready to go back to school. How does the medicine work to make you feel better and get you healthy again? Well, medicine is one kind of drug. Today, medicines are made and tested by scientists in laboratories. Scientists have created all types of medicines. The ingredients in lots of medicines come from nature. Medicines come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. There are red liquids, white creams, and pink pills. Medicines can be swallowed, inhaled, or injected with a needle. It doesn't matter how you take the medicine. Taking the right medicine helps people to feel better when they're sick. Medicines are used to ease the symptoms of an illness like a stuffy nose or a sore throat. Some medicines, like flu shots, help prevent people from getting sick. Medicines, such as chemotherapy, are used to cure diseases like cancer. Some people take medicines to control illnesses like diabetes, a disease that never completely goes away. Before a doctor gives you medicine, he or she has to figure out what's causing your illness, then choose from thousands of different medicines and make sure the medicine you take is safe. Different medicines do different things. There are antibiotic medicines. Antibiotics kill germs that can make you sick. If you're feeling achy or have pain, the doctor could prescribe a painkiller medicine. A doctor can also give you a medicine to soothe or make you feel better like a lotion for an itchy bug bite. When a doctor prescribes a medicine and it's taken properly, it's safe. But when medicine isn't taken the right way, if you take too much or take the wrong medicine, it can be harmful. You can actually get sick from the medicine. Medicines are legal drugs. Stores can sell them and people can buy them. When taken properly, medicines are a drug that can be very helpful. Medicines work to make you feel better so you can get back to doing the things you like to do. Tobacco and alcohol are two drugs that are very common in our society. They're called recreational drugs. They are not used for medical reasons. Tobacco is legal for grown-ups 18 years and older. Alcohol is legal for adults over the age of 21. So what is tobacco? It's a plant that is grown around the world. After tobacco is harvested, it is dried and mixed with other substances. It is then rolled into cigarettes and made into other tobacco products. Some people smoke cigarettes, cigars, or inhale tobacco smoke through water pipes called hookahs. Some people chew tobacco. They don't swallow it, they spit it out. Tobacco is harmful because it contains a very dangerous and addictive drug called nicotine. Nicotine, like all other drugs, changes the way your body and brain work. When tobacco is smoked, the nicotine enters the body through the mouth and nose. The smoke passes down the throat into the lungs. Even though the smoker blows the smoke out, the nicotine and many other harmful chemicals stay in the lungs. Tar is the solid particle in the smoke that contains nicotine and other very dangerous substances. It's the same kind of tar that is used to pave roads. The tar in the smoke irritates the tissue in your throat and lungs. Smoking tobacco causes serious lung problems. People who smoke find it difficult to breathe and exercise. They may cough a lot too. Besides the lungs, smoking harms other parts of the body too. Nicotine enters the bloodstream almost immediately and causes the arteries to get smaller. This makes the heart work faster. That leads to high blood pressure and that's very bad for your health. Smoking also causes cancer. 
Using tobacco also makes your teeth a yellowish brown and gives you bad breath. And worst of all, nicotine, like many drugs, is very addictive. Addictive means that once you start using tobacco, it's very difficult to stop. Alcohol is a legal drug that is made from grains, fruits, or vegetables. It's found in drinks like wine and beer. Grown-ups socialize and celebrate with alcohol. It's also used in many religious ceremonies too. It is legal for grown-ups over the age of 21 to drink alcohol, but it's against the law for anyone under 21 to drink any alcohol at all. The reason is because alcohol is a drug that can be harmful, especially to a young person's growing body and brain. When people drink, the alcohol is absorbed into their bloodstream and carried to every part of their body, including the brain, lungs, heart, liver, and other important organs. Sometimes, people become addicted to alcohol. Addicted means you can't control or stop drinking alcohol. People addicted to alcohol are called alcoholics. Marijuana is a drug that comes from the hemp plant. Marijuana is called pot, grass, or weed. Some people use marijuana as a recreational drug, but science has shown marijuana can be used as a medicine too. Marijuana is legal in some places and illegal in other places. Marijuana is illegal in most places. However, science has shown that marijuana can help ease the symptoms of many kinds of diseases. So marijuana is legal when a doctor prescribes it. Marijuana is still considered a harmful drug. When people smoke marijuana, it hurts their lungs and heart. It also changes the way the brain works. Chemicals in marijuana change the way a person sees, hears, smells, tastes, and feels things. Illegal drugs like cocaine and heroin are very dangerous and addictive. Cocaine comes from the dried leaves of the coca plant. It is a white powder. Cocaine is inhaled or snorted through the nose or injected into a vein. Cocaine is a stimulant that changes the way a person thinks and feels. It gives a person an intense feeling of pleasure or euphoria. Cocaine is harmful to your body, making your heart beat faster and raising your blood pressure. When it wears off, users feel nervous and depressed. Cocaine is so addictive that a person can become hooked after trying it just one time. Another dangerous and addictive illegal drug is heroin. Heroin comes from a poppy flower. Pure heroin is a white powder, but some heroin is dark brown or black. Heroin is a narcotic, a group of pain relieving drugs. When a person has surgery or breaks a bone, a doctor may prescribe a legal narcotic like morphine to manage the pain. Heroin users inject heroin or smoke. Some forms of heroin are inhaled. When taken, the person has an immediate rush of feeling good. After a while, a user may feel tired and get a sick feeling in their stomach. Heroin addicts who inject the drug into their veins with a needle may take the drug several times a day. The needle use can damage their veins and leave scars. Both cocaine and heroin are very addictive drugs. People using these illegal drugs can end up in prison. Continued abuse of heroin or cocaine can damage a person's vital organs and cause death. So, let's review what you need to know about drugs. A drug is a substance that can change the way your body and brain work. Medicines are drugs that when used properly can help people to cure or control diseases and help to relieve the symptoms of a sickness. Cigarettes and alcohol are drugs that are legal for adults over the age of 21 to use. Both are addictive and can damage different body organs. Marijuana is an illegal drug in most places. However, it is legal if used for medical reasons. Cocaine and heroin are dangerous, highly addictive illegal drugs that have severe legal and health consequences. It's important to understand that some drugs can help you and others can harm you. Now you know what drugs are and how they can affect you. If you have any more questions, just talk to a grown-up you trust, like your mom, dad, or teacher. 
Everyone who cares about you wants you to be healthy and happy. And that means being drug free. 